This is Twit. A couple of interesting things. This app that I wanted to spotlight for you this week uh, caught my eye because at first I was like, okay, we've been talking a lot about file transfers uh, because, as we all know, Google's rolling out their answer to AirDrop, right, and that sort of thing. But as but we, as we also know. Uh, Android 11 is coming, and and that would be a part of it. But not every phone always gets, you know, Android 11 that quickly, and there are phones out there that won't get it, and all this sort of stuff. So, what about all of us that have earlier versions of Android that want to be able to uh, transfer files in an AirDrop kind of manner? And so I was like, all right, well, what you know, what options are out there? Then I stumbled upon the app we're going to talk about tonight called Dodo Drop. Um, Dodo Drop Secure File Transfer, and apparently I was doing some reading on it. And a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how India and China are having a skirmish and India banned a bunch of Chinese based apps. Well, apparently from that action, there has been a uh, explosion of app development out of India. And this app, Dodo Drop, was developed by a 17 year old kid in India as an as a uh, replacement of a China, of, of a previously uh, used app that he used that was by a Chinese developer. Uh, so I love the idea of in a vacuum, you know, this kid in India who's who's like, I like to f- transfer files with my phone wirelessly. Oh, no, I can't. Well, I'm just going to make my own app. And guess what? It's actually pretty decent. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> um, so it's called Dodo Drop. And here I've got it up on on my phone. If uh, Burke, you want to show my screen. Um, and yeah, so when you open up Dodo Drop, you got to go through all the permissions. You got to give it access to your file system and all that sort of stuff. And um, as we all know, you know, as we go into our settings, uh, the key thing that we have here is that there's a dark mode. So you can turn on dark mode if you want, and that will uh, have the phone go, have the app go dark. I'm going to keep it on light because it's a little easier for our friends watching on video. Um, but uh, when you do it, you uh, set up in uh, in the settings. You give your you give your uh, phone a device name. So I'm going to just call this Ron's. You know, Ron's. There you go. And um, basically, what happens is is that. Uh, there is a file explorer within the app, and it allows you to search through your files. Um, you can go through internal storage or through a Dodo Drop folder or through your documents, downloads, music, and photo f- directories, similar to any kind of other an- kind of standard Android um, uh, file system. Um, and when you go on transfers, you have two options. You can send or receive. Um, so if I'm going to send... Um, I need to choose the the uh, the file that I'm going to send. So I'm gonna and here in the browser, you can uh, go through apps, your files, musics, photos, or videos, which is great. And I don't really know why the photos aren't loading in there, but um, I'll go to music. I've got some random thing, and so we'll do that. Um, looks like a podcast file. So we will choose to send that. And so now what you can do is you can add devices to transfer to it. Um, and so you can choose a um, uh, choose a device to transfer to the phone. And what you can do is you can show a QR code. And what that does is it allows you to start a direct hotspot um, on your phone. What happens is, is that in the app, uh, you can set up a direct hotspot using the Wi-Fi in your phone that another device can connect to. And then you can seamlessly transfer files very quickly up to 480 um, um, uh, MPBS, whatever, per second, uh, meg per second. Um, and I was testing it between my two phones earlier and the files were just snappy. They were just going uh, very, very seamlessly, very quickly. Um, uh, it also has what's interesting, like, almost like a text transfer there's a little area in the app where you can write text messages and send them to whatever device that you're connected to which is kind of funny and i don't really know why it's there but because the core function of this is the ability to securely uh transfer files from one device to another um and all the other device needs to do is scan your qr code and then get connected and then it all works so um yeah so it's very cool it's very interesting 17 year old kid did a pretty good job so uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely check it out. Uh, Dodo Drop Secure File Transfer. If you're looking for a way to transfer files, if you're not running Android 11, if you don't want to use Android solution when it comes out, or if it's not compatible for you, you're looking for another kind of option, uh, Dodo Drop is worth checking out. Um, and I was super impressed, not only by the initiative, but also by the execution. So uh, yeah, very cool. Nice. An yeah. alternative to Android's nearby sharing, yep. as it were. Dodo drop. Nice pick. 17 year old, years old. How does, I mean, when I was 17, I was not making Android apps, but I was also, <laughs> it was also 1994 and I, I should have been if I had only known. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. You should have done differently, Ron. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't be on this show if you had done that, though. It, your True. world would have gone in a completely different direction. So we're happy that you didn't run. I was programming in Turbo Pascal in 1994. <laughs> there you go.